Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and a WLED beta release. So today we're going to be looking at the beta release which is 0.14.0-B3 or beta 3. We're going to be upgrading from beta 1 which has been around since Christmas. So let's see if we can find anything interesting in there. And there's a couple of new 2D effects and something on the segments as well. So let's have a look. So first off we need to upgrade our version. So we go to security and updates. Click on the manual OTA update. And you can see we're running B1. The latest one is B3. So we're going to click on that. And because we're using ESP8266s, we're going to be downloading the ESP8266 bin. So we've selected that from our download location and we're going to hit update. Now this is going to take a couple of minutes and you can see the clock is slowing down as it's doing something so let's wait for it to update and a couple of minutes later it reboots and a quick refresh of the web page later and we have our system back online so i can't see anything immediately different Let's turn it on. Ah, so we've lost our configuration for our um, LED matrix. So we're going to have to try and set that back up again. But it is working. So we need to find out how to set up um, the LED matrix again. So I'm just checking, we've still got 192 LEDs in the in the string, which technically it is a string. So if we go into 2D setup, this seems to have changed quite a lot, which is very nice. So I want us to have a play with this, see if it does anything. So it's brought on the third panel, but it stopped the first one. Now there it's showing an, an 8x8 panel, which is quite nice. So I'm just trying to get it to do something, and it blatantly doesn't want to do anything up to now. Apart from activate the last panel. But we have changed something, so it must be in this configuration. Now there's a button there, matrix generator. I wonder what that could do. So panel width, so width along and height. Ping how high it is. Let's try that one. And it's lit up all three. Excellent. see if it actually works yes it's doing something excellent so let's try the scrolling text and yeah it's completely the wrong orientation well, I can only presume I've got the panel set wrong so I've changed the orientation to vertical see if that makes any difference okay still working let's go back to scrolling text again and it's now upside down 
So I fiddled about trying to get it to turn the other way, but I found the easiest way was to just turn the panel upside down. So it seemed to keep, it seemed to have kept forgetting this setting for some reason. I'm not sure whether it was something it was doing, but you do that and then change something and it go back upside down again. But it is working, it's showing the time again. So the panel setup is now much, much easier than what it was. But yeah, you see, you change something, it goes back upside down, it loses this for some reason. So I think the easiest way for us at the moment is we turn the panel upside down and we don't have to worry about it. Maybe the panel was the wrong way around in the first place, who knows? But anyway, there, the panel's now upside down. Now I believe to get the text working, all we need to do is do this. And there it is, it's working. So what we need to do is actually name the segment. Which works nicely. Very nice. Now I believe this was working from the previous beta, but I could never work it out myself, but it's now there and it now works a treat. So I was trying to get two working and you can see one is behind the other which is quite interesting. I tried to put some effects behind it but couldn't work it out. But you can see I've got the, the text on the first one and the text on the second one. The, the uh, top one's running faster over the bottom one. So, quite interesting. So let's have a look at some of the effects. My camera doesn't do it any justice, unfortunately. That double line is just the persistence of the camera. As you saw with the lights on, it didn't show that, but it still shows pretty good. So we're just going to have a look through some of the effects. Some of them really do show up. Some very, very, very nice effects for a panel. Really, I'm going to have to get myself some more panels. So that's some really good effects on here. So I won't spoil it by showing all the effects. You'll have to find them out for yourself. But that's how I got my panel working. And apart from the matrix setup, as I'm sure that there seems to be plenty of bug fixes, but nothing that I personally need to worry about. So anyway, hope you like this short video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, even buy me a coffee, as the scrolling text says. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.